Welcome to the Hoops With Us podcast. Today I'm joined by three special guests, AJ Hoggard, who is a Michigan State commit, Jamal Mashburn, Minnesota commit, and Hassan Diara, Texas A&M commit. What's going on, guys? How's it going? What's up? What's up? Everything good, bro. How, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking, guys. So, guys, first questions that I have for you guys today is uh, just tell us a little bit about yourself for everyone out there that doesn't know too much about you. Uh, AJ Hogar, uh, point guard, of course. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Where are you from? Where are you from? Uh, oh, close to Pennsylvania, uh, 10 Huntington Prep, class of 2020. Um, my name is uh, Jamal Mashburn. I'm a combo guard out of uh, Miami, Florida. I was born in um, Charlotte, North Carolina, um, and I'm attending the University of Minnesota. Um, I'm Hassan Diara. I'm from Queens, New York. I'm a guard. Uh, next year, I'm going to Texas a and uh, I recently attended a prep school called Putnam Science Academy. That's great. Uh, all right, guys. So the next question that I have for you guys is, you guys were one of the best back backcourts in the EYBL this pre past spring and summer, playing with PSA Cardinals. Uh, just tell us what you, got, what you guys think made you guys the best backcourt in the EYBL. Uh, it made us the best back in the IBL is uh, I would say we probably were the most efficient, and we brung it each and every night, and we won. Yeah, we definitely uh, we definitely liked playing with each other. You know, we played off each other. You know, our game complemented each of us. You know, nice shooting. They could have helped both him. AJ just attacking, and me, you know, just uh, finding them and getting them the ball and having them score. You know. So we, we built up each other, we fed off each other, and it was great. You know, we were efficient, and we won games. Yeah, I agree. I think we, we complement each other very well. I think we also we also pushed each other. Our practices were, were tough. So I mean, we pushed each other um, throughout each and every practice because we had limited time to practice with each other. But um, we got better each and every day. Um, even from the time just in the hotel talking about certain things. Uh, we just bonded. It was just a bond. So. Awesome, guys. All right, guys, next question that I have for you guys is obviously Munch hooked me up with you guys to do this podcast. Uh, what do you guys like playing under Coach Munch with PSA Cardinals? Uh, what I liked about playing for Munch is he held all of us at a high standard, no matter from what your rank was to what you did, which, how much you contributed. He held everyone at a high standard. Uh, he made sure all of us play hard, and he pushed us on and off the court and taught us a lot of lessons, life lessons as well. Yeah, not only did he push us, but, you know, he, he let us rock. You know, he, he let us do, play our games, you know, have fun with basketball, and we just love playing for him. He coached us on the defensive end, and on the offensive end, he let us go. Let us do what we want. Yeah, he, uh, the Munch, that's my guy. Um, you know, he believed in all of us, all of the dudes that, you know, that, that, that he was with, he believes in all of us. I even remember in Peace Jam, you know, the biggest, you know, high school event in the country at the time. Um, you know, I had, I'm coming off a game where I had zero in the first game, no coaches. Um, and he's still running plays for me, running these, running me off screens, still believing me, keep telling me to keep shooting, even my teammates. And, you know, that's just, he's probably, he's, he's one of the, He's the best coach I've had this thus far in my high school career, for sure. That's great, fellas. All right, guys. So next question that I have for you is, uh, what would you guys say to other uh, high-ranked high school guards that are playing AAU with new guys on an AAU team and, like, playing in the backcourt with each other during AAU? What would you say to these guys? What's some advice you would give them? Uh, the advice I would give them, like, we have a system whereas – we don't. We're not allowed to have our phones during the weekend when we're playing to this because you have to bond with each other off the court because you don't get that much time. Like, Mash is coming from Brewster. I'm coming from Huntington Prep. Hassan's coming from Putnam. So we're not even really in the gym that much together. So we're trying to build our bond off the court. So I would say just being around teammates off the court. Don't be a shy individual. Like, kind of get used to talking to them and being around them and just – find out and figure out what they like to do, where they like the ball at, and things like that, so you can contribute and help feed off each other on and off the court. 
exactly you know just build a relationship you know this is going to be lifelong friends you know uh you're probably never going to be able to play with them ever again so you know build a relationship you know and just have fun have fun doing what you do best yeah don't yeah, and don't take anything for granted um you know the people that's around you um you know learn from 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 people's stories and people's uh journeys and you know how people got there because you can get um you know just don't don't just don't just don't take it for granted don't take it for granted these are the dudes like you're gonna you're gonna have memories with these dudes you know with your teammates and everything like that so definitely all right guys so next question i have for you guys we're gonna dive into each of your guys games a little bit uh you're each very well at scoring the ball and you all have a very quick first step whether it's sizing your man up or getting all the way to the rim dishing it to the big once the defense collapsed on you uh what would you guys say is your best strength on the court, and who do you guys try to model your game after? Uh, I would say my best strength probably on the court is, is getting downhill and keeping my uh, defender off balance and uh, making plays for others as well as scoring. Uh, I wouldn't really say I model my game after nobody. I kind of watch and steal pieces of people's games and, like, try to put it into one and create my own kind of little thing. So I wouldn't kind of say I play like nobody. Um, my best part of my game is, you know, uh, being downhill and playmaking for others and myself. You know, I like to model my game after uh, Terry Rozier. You know, I feel like we have a lot of things in common. You know, he's defensive-minded. I'm defensive-minded. Uh, you know, he likes to score. He can shoot. He can, pass. You know, he can do a, a lot of things. very versatile. Uh, the best part of my game is my jumper. Um, for cash. Uh, <laughs> sure. If I would, I don't really. I, my answer is more similar to AJ. I don't. I don't really. Uh, I like to take pieces of of, of 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 other players and other guards. But if there's one person I would say I model my game after, has to be Dame Dollar, Damian Lillard. Uh, yeah. Dame Dollar. Yeah. That's what's up, fellas? All right, guys. Next person I have for you guys is you're all committed to high level programs going into your freshman season. Like I said in the introduction, AJ, you're headed to Michigan State. Jamal, you're headed to Minnesota. And um, Hassan, you're headed to Texas A&M. Uh, what was appealing to these schools about you during the recruiting process that made you guys commit to these schools? And just tell us about the relationships that you built with the coaches during your uh, recruiting process. Um, the most appealing thing to me was how, when I was on campus, the family structure because that's how we were built over here on PSA. It's family. It's a family. Uh, once you're a Cardinal, you're always a Cardinal, so you're always going to have that relationship. So I kind of was looking for things as that was kind of similar as in family structure, um, playing style, of course, uh, the relationship with the coach, and just an opportunity to come in and play and have an impact from day one. So the relationship I built with coach was kind of, I would say it was more real than anything. He just kept it real with me from day one. He never told me anything was promised, so I didn't know that I have to come in and, have to fight from day one, which is I like a challenge. So I felt like that was the best bet for me because I'll be pushed each and every day by a uh, uh, soon-to-be Hall of Fame coach. Yeah, to reiterate, reiterate what uh, AJ said, you know, uh, building a, a fantastic relationship with Coach Buzz Williams. And, you know, I feel like there's opportunity over there for me to play and me to develop my game and get better, you know, and for the next level. You know, that, that was basically it. And he built, built a relationship with my family, too. Yeah, uh, for me, um, you know, very similar. Uh, you know, one of the things that was important to me is trust and just um, just weeding out all the BS. Like, a lot of coaches like to, you know, say things that players want to hear. Um, but Coach Patino, he didn't, he didn't do that, especially with the relationship that, you know, Coach Patino, Rick Patino has with my dad you know he was a my dad was in college at Kentucky he was coached by um Richard Patino's dad so um a lot of family connection there and you know I I wanted to go to a place where I can get better and uh and really just really just strive in my game and you know be able to play at the next level for a long time All right, guys, the last question that I have for you guys today is uh what can your guys' respective colleges expect from you guys when you arrive on campus? Um, someone who's going to work hard, uh, high-character guy, um, 
someone who's just going to give it his all on our court and also be a pillar in the community that I'll be in next year as a citizen as well. Yeah, definitely. You know, just, you know, a hard worker, you know, a leader, you know, vocal leader, however you want me to, however the coach wants me, what way you want me to do, you know, I'm going to do it. You know, uh, definitely, you know, in the community, on campus, you know, being a guy that's an example of others. Uh, yeah, just changing, changing the culture, um, you know, be coming in there and just, you know, really bringing in a, you know, winning mentality and hard work and just being a great student athlete as far as on and off the campus and on and off the court and, um, you know, just be, just be remembered as just a, a, a great person off the court and a great basketball player, but a great person first is more important than that. Well, guys, that's all the questions that I have for you today. Uh, can't thank you guys enough for joining me on the show today. I uh, wish you guys nothing but the best of luck next year in your freshman seasons. I'll be watching all you guys in and uh, stay safe out there and hope to stay in touch. All right. Thanks for having me. Thank you, man. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. No doubt, fellas. Stay safe. Yes, sir. Cool.